good evening and of uh, and once again welcome to my youtube channel Pearson and Excel International Maths by Mr. Kamoto and uh, today we continue to explain topic number six of pure mathematics three where we continue to understand differentiation of arc sine arc cos and arc tan as inverses of the corresponding trigonometric ratios of course we have understood um, in the previous video that um, when y if y is equals to x sine x then dy dx becomes 1 over the root of 1 minus x squared and we are talking about y is equals to x sine x squared. It's not just x, but x squared. So the x itself is having an index. And because we are doing differentiation, and we are differentiating with respect to x, we cannot just take this one to be equals to x. We have to rename it because at some point, it is going to be differentiated within itself so let t be equals to x squared and if this is true dt dx is going to be 2x and uh, the whole of this function when we have t is equals to x squared then y becomes arc sine t which is basically equals to um, we need now to talk about dy dt is now in the, this format 1 over the square root of 1 minus t squared but of course we are looking for we are looking for dy dx and at this particular point we must employ the chain rule because dy dx is dy dt times dt dx so that the dt and dt cancel out and we are left with dy dx so what is dy dt our dy dt is um, is 1 over uh, 1 uh, the root of 1 minus t squared uh, multiply by dt dx which is 2x times 2x over 1 which is basically 2x all over the root of 1 minus t squared at that particular point we must now substitute t with what x was so dy dx eventually is going to be 2x all over the square root of 1 minus t squared and t was x squared so that is t squared so we are going to have 2x all over the root of 1 minus x raised to power 4 and that is just like what we exactly expected to find and we have been able to establish the dy dx if y is arc sine x squared then the dy dx is 2x over the root of 1 minus x to power 4 but again we must we must uh, remember that we have gotten a lot of assistance from uh, when we have to take t is equals to x squared and dt dx is going to be to be to be 2x so if you look at this particular step it is so much uh, of what we know so it has been very helpful to us remember we have used the chain rule and this chain rule has been able to assist us a great deal so don't forget you can now uh, apply anything that you've learned to differentiate including the trigonometric ratios and if, in fact even even their inverse functions all right again visit my youtube channel um pearson and excel international maths by mr kamoto 
and um, subscribe fast and then share widely and of course let us walk together this journey of mathematics all right